Nothing beats time and hard work, actually, and that's important. You got a problem. You're listening to the speech and you're like, man, I have an issue with sexual dysfunction. I have an issue with uh, premature ejaculation. I hate women. I can't have a relationship, all right? I didn't know how to have a relationship, right? There's nobody in the industry who could talk to me about it. You know, maybe Hypnotica. There's nobody that I could go to. I had my normal guy friends, right, to, to work with me on that stuff or to bounce stuff off of. But that took time. Right? And so these are, these are pretty important. And this is what, how I want to talk about like, the men's development industry because it's real interesting this weekend. Because you know, it opened, it, it, I knew about this, but it refreshed it. Okay? If you want to be good at anything, anything, especially relationships, sex, because it's a deep thing that we don't talk about, you need three things, but anything, man, anything. You need experience. Okay? In that experience, you're going to fucking lose. You need, in that experience, you're going to win. You've got to know how to handle both of those things. Okay? In that experience, guess what's going to happen? You're going to come in with your man code. You're going to go, I have morals and beliefs. And at times, you're going to throw them out the window because you're in pain. And there's nothing wrong with that. I value a lot of shit in my life. You know why I value a lot of shit in my life? Because I let it go or I lost it and then I had to work to get it back. What kind of a boy, what kind of an inexperienced male can say that you live by something, but you've never had the threat of losing it? You've never had to work back for it. You know, it's funny because somebody was saying, I, I'm kind of a self-deprecating guy, and so I train jujitsu, not that great at it, not trying to do anything, but I posted a video of me getting choked out, man, right away, fucking lost. All these motherfuckers are like, oh, you need to get stronger. Dude, I lose every day. If you train, if you talk to anybody who trains, you lose every day. Mistakes, I kind of post it online so I can learn from those mistakes, you know, uh, to see that, get feedback from other people. But all the guys who aren't into it, they're like, man, you got to do, oh, you got to get stronger, or, or why'd you let that out, or whatever, all that sort of shit. Dude, I lose fucking every day. If I train, I, get, I lose more than I win. But the reason why I actually do that, I think it's kind of funny, but the reason why I really do that is because if you make your life only about winning, you fear losing. If you make your life always about when you don't know what it's like to get your fucking ass kicked and to get beat down in some way, you don't need to fight, you don't need to be violent, but to get stomped on in life, if you do not have that happen, you don't learn, man, you don't value anything. I can't tell you how many of my values I went back on. You know, I'm never going to cheat. I'm always going to be good. I'm not going to fuck up again, whatever it is, man, and I'm there again, and it's fucked, and it sucks, man. It gets to a low, low level, right? And I know that pain, and I know I never want to live it again. And every day, when I just have one day, right, one day, I just have now, I don't mean that in some Eckhart Tolle sort of, you know, spiritual whatever thing, but it's just I have right now, you know, that I can deal with what I'm thinking and feeling, that goddamn, man, that's where my choice comes in. I'll tell you this right now, man, I, what's, what's a value that I believe in? You know, expression. If I'm afraid, I'm not going to express. I think you're going to judge me, and, and it's going to embarrass me or humiliate me in some way. I'm going to stop. That doesn't make me less of a man. That's my journey to building more of what that is, of what that means to have that, right? It's a little bit long time on that experience thing. <laughs> Sorry. Community, huge, huge. You know, when I started out, this was the seduction community. Of course, TSLs moved more to men's development and all this stuff because you have to be the total man. You name it. But who in this industry has a community? And I'm going to state this because this was really important to see this weekend. We interviewed a lot of people from Ars Amorata for this. They gave excellent feedback. Excellent feedback. Okay, they gave, they were some of those guys that gave amazing, amazing, you know, like feedback of what it means to, to be a sexual man, right? That is a community. Zan Perion, good guy, he built an awesome community, man or his team, or whatever it is. I know all his coaches, they're great guys. That's what I did, man. I have a community. Why? So I can talk. I'm very open with it. The TSL guys, you can talk to them here. TSL is a big presence always at the 21 convention. But big time, we have a community. We talk almost every day on a call. I have to end this, and I'm starting a call. And then I got to come back and MC and all that sort of stuff, because that's it. Why? Because, man, I need it just as much as them. It helps me, if not, it helps me more than them at times. 
And they know that, man. I'm not trying to pull some sly shit. I, I say my thing. Bravo has a community. It's awesome. He has a, a lot of people have forums, but he has an active forum. David Tien has a community. Who else? And I'm going to tell you this, man. What has actually worked without a community, without other people that you can talk to? And man, it's really cool to see the YouTube videos of some asshole in field doing some kid stuff, and it looks like it works. And when you're jerking off the porn or you haven't experienced anything, that looks good. But man, that's how you lose your money. That's how you get pissed off. That's how you get resentful over not getting results over and over again. And that's what the seduction community has become, man. A bunch of kids making decision about what, decisions about what looks good. It's the same as seeing a chick with big boobs and only seeing that. Nobody has a fucking community, except those, those four people. Be a part of a community. 21 Convention is a community. Be a part of this. You all know, sitting here, how important it is to be here and talk outside of this room. Man, me speaking, that's basically just a tool so you can have the real experience that's going to happen outside that door or at night or smoking cigars with some crazy dude with awesome stories, man. You know, that's what makes it. What are the three lives of a man? <laughs> I won't get into that. All right. Time. You think you're going to get through this quick? Fuck you, man. There's no quick fixes. You come to me with a quick fix, you don't want it bad enough. You're not willing to work for something that you want to change. You don't want it bad enough.